Hello, today I'll be demonstrating how to do a um, central line uh, dressing and um, I'm going to gather all my my supplies and I have this central line dressing kit and I have my sterile gloves. This dressing kit does not come with the um, uh, uh, non-septic uh, ring so I made this one up. Um, and I'm gonna be starting. So now that I have my supplies, uh, I also have an extra mask for the patient and there'll be a mask uh, for me as well. Um, and so I'm gonna go to the patient's room. Hello, uh, come in. Uh, my name is Eddie, I'll be your nurse today. And uh, the reason why I'm here is because I'll be um, uh, doing a, a central line uh, dressing change. Uh, can I please uh, have your name and date of birth? And at that point in time, I'm looking at the uh, uh, wristband and um, yeah, it checks uh, patient state's name and last name and date of birth. And um, uh, do you have any questions about me doing the uh, dressing change today? I'm gonna go ahead and raise the bed to a comfortable working position and um, lower the side rail I'd be working on and I'm going to provide privacy. One of the things I'm gonna need you to do is um, uh, I'm gonna need you to uh, wear a mask and um, I'm gonna have you wear a mask and then I'm gonna have you uh, turn away from the incision. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this mask on. Um, this mask is on the patient now. And um, then the patient is gonna have to, I'm gonna turn the patient away from the incision uh, from where the uh, central line is located. And I'm just pretending that's my central line because we don't have an actual central line. And um, I I am going to um, uh, start uh, removing the old dressing. And I'm gonna work from uh, the outer edge towards the center. Towards where towards the uh, where the line enters the the pore enters the skin and I'm going to do that all the way around uh, making sure that um, I don't pull on that on the uh, on the line and um, this is going to go in a bio uh, uh, hazard bag so I'm putting it there and um, I am going to uh, now that I've removed that uh, I have the patient on the side then I am going to um, remove my uh, gloves and um, do hand washing and then I I'm going to, um, sorry, I should have done, I should have had my mask to begin with. And I'm gonna set the sterile field now. That was the mask for the patient. And then I have my kit here. This will be added to the kit as if it's sterile because we don't have one in the kit. Here's got my gloves, but they don't fit. So I brought my my own gloves so i'm gonna open this
fooling on the outer one inch and that thing will not will not stay i'm not going to cause a sterile feel but i'm going to grab my gloves and i'm going to uh, put them on over on this side here the camera so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna grab this, put it the first one on my dominant hand. Then this will go on my non dominant hand. Okay. There's that. So now I'm going to prep my stuff here and you know, skin protected. Now I need to turn the camera towards me, but I, I just want to uh, let you know that I, if I was to do that, it was going to break sterility and it would have, but I wouldn't have a camera while doing this process. I just wanted to show you that I, the process I, I use to, um, um, to, uh, do my gloves i have a sterile field i'm not causing the sterile field um i'm just dropping that so i'm going to go ahead and and start cleaning uh, now this hand is no longer sterile so i'm going to start doing in circular motion working around that uh, central line central line like so and start cleaning all the way So I clean that, continue to hold this. I am going to, I am going to grab a second one of these, but we only have, we only have this one uh, in our kids. So the second one I would use um, I would use to uh, clean the tubing from the bottom up and I would clean the tubing, clean it real good and then wait for it to, you know, dispose of that and then wait for it to dry. Um, then we're going to use this pad to um, In the window and I just realized that I actually use reverse that one is the prep uh, kind of like the glue for the non occlusive to go on and um, and this is the uh, the uh, uh, cleansing uh, uh, pad if you will so um, doing that and I said I would have reversed those two, so I already have the window. Now, now I'm going to I'm going to uh, get my occlusive dressing ready, and uh, we are going to make sure that the port going into the body is right in the center. of that dressing like so
Okay. So I have that down. I'm going to, um, uh, with a pen, write my initials, date, and time of when I did this. So I've already done that. And then I'm going to stick it here on the patient so that whoever's going to come out for me know when that was done. And it's supposed to be done every seven days. So next, I am going to... Um, uh, crap. I totally forgot to use my um, brown patch that goes around the incision here. I should have done that. And um, then I do the occlusive dressing over that. I don't have an extra occlusive dressing, but I did miss that step. Like I said, it's not in the package, so it was kind of hard to, to remember. But I did. Had I done this, I would go back, remove the the um, dressing. I put uh, uh, occlusive dressing and put in the uh, start the procedure all over again and make sure I didn't forget that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and perform hand hygiene. Make sure everything... Uh, that I use here goes into a bio bag. Uh, I also would have inspected uh, as I was cleaning the incision for any swelling, uh, see if there's any redness, any signs of infection, and I would have measured the tubing and compared to the previous documentation to see if that tubing has migrated or moved at all. I would finish uh, taping the line if needed like so, and um, then I'm gonna put the patient back into a uh, comfortable and safe position. I'm gonna glove up again. Uh, put the patient back into a comfortable, give them the call light, get, get the side rail up, and I would pick up all the trash collect all the trash here and uh, like I said put in a bio bag. Uh, do you have any questions sir? Patient doesn't have any questions. Uh, just you know I give you the call light. The reason for that is if you feel any discomfort, anything around the area, uh, please let us know or if you feel any tenderness as well. Uh, I'm gonna go document the procedure. Uh, I will remove the curtain and I'll go out to uh, document.